Kim Fernand was born on August 24th, 1865. His father was Leopold of Hengsling St. American. His uncle was Charles of Hengsling St. American, who, who in 1866 was elected as ruler of modern Romania. Fernand was described as a shy, shy child and all through his life, he he was he wasn't very social uh, compared to his other family members, especially his future wife, uh, the Queen Marie of Romania. In, 18, in 1893, an unlikely match was proposed between uh, Prince Ferdinand, now the heir to Romanian throne, of his um, uncle's uh, throne, and uh, Princess Marie of Edinburgh. It was an unlikely match, uh, but Marie's parents originally uh, wanted uh, Marie's father, Alfred Duke of Saxe Coburg Gotha, wanted her to marry George, the future George V. But Marie's mother, who is also called Marie, uh, the Grand Duchess Marie, hated Britain and wanted Marie out to, to marry outside the British court. So Marie married Fernand. A Fernand who had an affair, who was uh, who was in trying to remain in Lega called Verescu, was actually uh, forced to travel all the way across Europe in search of a uh, lady in waiting. Um, uh, Marie and Fernand married in October in the spring in the summer of 1893 with her father, with uh, both uh, her father and Fernand's uncle, Carol, present. Uh, the marriage took place in um, her Hengsling, Sigma Aragon. King Carol the first did have a child uh, called Marie, but she died uh, at three years old. Fernand was not the, was, that, was, that, was that in fact not the direct heir, uh, because his, his elder brother, Wilhelm, uh, refused to remain in throne. And this is why uh, uh, Fernand uh, uh, managed to actually get the throne. As I said earlier, his characteristics were characteristics were very different from his uncle's. His uh, his uncle was stern, strict, very engaging. But Fernand seemed shy and seemed like a person who would be unable to lead the country in a crisis. That's what the modern political commentators of the day wrote about Fernand. And when Romania entered the war, many commentators picked up on Fernand's lack of ability to lead. The marriage between uh, Prince Fernand and Princess Marie produced six children. We here see the we here see the future Carol II on the uh, far right hand side of the screen. And there were there were rumours that some of the children were not actually Fernands and were actually uh, particularly uh, Machia, uh, who, who uh, passed away during the Great Retreat in 1916 to Moldavia. And uh, Berber was um, was actually it was rumoured that he was the father of one or two of Marie's children. This has not been proved historically. But nonetheless, Fernand ignored, ignored the rumours and fathered the children as his own. But let me just say, this is just rumour. Uh, but in, as Carol grew up and when he became king, Carol, Carol II uh, really did detest the Barbu Scurvy and he wanted him killed. But the marriage was successful in a way Marie and Fernand worked together. But interestingly enough, Marie and Fernand never ever shared the same bed. In late June 1913, Romania eventually entered the Second Balkan War, which Bulgaria started uh, because it wanted to regain territories lost during San, San Stefano. 1878, 
and during the 1912 First Balkan War. The Romanian army went through northern Bulgaria like knife through a butter. There was absolutely no resistance whatsoever. But it was a case of Ferdinand's leadership, and uh, Ferdinand did command one of the armies uh, during the uh, Second Balkan War. But there were tensions between uh, Ferdinand and Avaescu about the directions of corps, and, and also the outbreak, also the troops suffering an outbreak of cholera as well. His wife, Princess Marie, and her son, Carol, helped treat the victims of cholera. Romania suffered absolutely no casualties whatsoever uh, from bullets, but just suffered many thousands uh, from cholera. After 42 years of glorious reign, Carol I died in October 1914. By then, Carol, King Carol I was a broken man. His country had decided to stay neutral and not align itself with his, uh, um, with his native Germany. Carol I's achievements were founding modern Romania and also modernising uh, the country and also bringing the country into the uh, 20th century as well. But his, but his uh, later years were marred by the fact that the, uh, of the secret treaty of the alliance with Germany, Austria and Hungary. Hagel remains to about there would have been an uproar uh, Carol wisely kept the 1893 Triple, Alli Triple Alliance secret uh, from the Romanian public, who uh, uh, majority majority of them were pro-French, because the Romanian language and customs and culture were very similar to the French way of life. The leadership qualities of Ferdinand are now to be tested, as he was now a king. As I said, as I said earlier, modern commentators and journalists commentary that Ferdinand lacked leadership qualities. He also lacked personality as well. And Queen Marie said that she was ready to step up to the plate if her husband um, actually resigned, abdicated as king. Ferdinand's decision to actually go towards the Allies side was not easy. After all, he was of German blood. His family were Catholic, from Hengsling Sigmaringen, and he ri he risked uh, he risked actually being uh, excommunicated by the Pope, in which he was eventually excommunicated because he decided to actually choose the Allies. And his decision was mainly due to his wife's uh, pressure. Because Marie was uh, British and she was naturally pro-British and pro-Allied. And I want to complicate to put it, the decision Ferdinand made left him shaking and made him very nervous. Uh, and also the Pope excommunicated him. Also a black flag was put on the top of the Hengstling castle. But the promises made to Romania by the Central Powers were dwarfed by the promises the Allies made. The Allies could offer Romania so much more, double, double the territory, and also a fully unified Romania since the days of uh, Michael the Great. Romania entered the war on August 27, 1916. A Openly, the war went well for the Romanians, who faced, who faced weak Austrian uh, defences. But also the, Aust the Austro-Hungarians were outnumbered on their Transylvania in front of the Romanians as well. But soon, the reality of Romania as a country being surrounded by enemies were, and also the Romanian armed forces um, his lack of equipment and his lack of readiness for modern 20th century warfare were apparent. There was a shortage of um, guns, a shortage of machine guns, uh, a lack of gas, and a lack of arms as well. 
and after the mobilization, the Romanian army was really overstretched. And Germany, who was very interested in the Romanian oil fields, just like Hindenburg and Ludendorff, decided to switch all campaigns on the east and west to deal the hammer blow to Romania. And it was a massive ha hangover, um, hammer blow. Within three months, the Romanians were forced into the northeast of the country. Morgan Griffiths was sent to Romania, uh, who was a British agent, sent to Romania to destroy the oil fields. But the Germans still managed to suck up uh, tons and millions of barrels of oil from Romania. Out of the valuable Wallachian uh, wheat lands were seized by the Germans. This is a Keskian time for the Romanians. It was the Keskian time for the Romanian royal family, who suffered their own heartbreak when uh, Prince Mashir died in the winter of 1916 during the Great Retreat to Moldavia. During the summer, during the, during, like, during the early spring and summer of 1917, the Allies did manage to get some supplies to Romania, and also a mission led by Henry Bufflock. Uh, from France, uh, managed to actually save the Romanian army from actually disappearing for good. And the Romanians launched a miraculous recovery and launched, uh, launched great heroic defences and offences against a vastly superior Central Powers force. They managed to stop the Central Powers from actually conquering Moldavia. But sadly, events outside Romania are uncontrollable, like a Bolshevik revolution, and Lenin uh, forced Russia out of the war, and Gatli Romania was surrounded and forced to sign the Treaty of Bucharest. Finland refused blatantly to sign it, thus, the treaty was illegal. By October 1918, the old Romania was cleared of German troops. Kifan and Queen Marie mar marched uh, triumphantly into Bucharest uh, with a column of French, troop French and Romanian troops. And on the 1st of December 1918, the Romanians from Transylvania voted overwhelmingly to unite with uh, the uh, Old Kingdom. And this is, this is a very historic day, and Ferdinand signed this as well to ratify it the unification of Romania in a whole. And for the first time since Michael the Great of 1603, Romania was united. And this was a spectacular achievement. Also was spectacular was that Queen Marie uh, was sent to Paris to actually secure the peace terms and to make sure the Romanian soldiers did not fight in vain. In 1920, King Ferdinand and Queen Marie were finally crowned as the official monarchs of Romania. The assembly took place in Abba Iulia, and I've seen this magnificent painting myself. And I was in Abba Iulia uh, in March uh, of uh, 2015. A King Ferdinand's legacy has always been remembered by the Romanians. And he actually managed to actually prove all commentators wrong. He was a, he, he became a strong king. And he led Romania through one of the most turbulent times of its history. Monarchs surrounding him disappeared. But Ferdinand survived to kill the kill. He was one of the greatest rulers that Romania has ever had. And his wife played a major role as well in shaping the Romanian monarchy and shaping the image of the country as a powerful, bright and prosperous nation. An heroic nation at that. Carol after his um, affair, after his wrong view with uh, uh, the main vehicle with Sissy, managed to actually find a suitable wife 
called uh, Elena, Helen of Greece and Denmark. The marriage was well approved by uh, the uh, Queen of Romania. But sadly, it was not to last. But in October 1921, the couple, the couple had a child, who is the current King of Romania, King, His Majesty King Michael of Romania. But sadly for Michael, the marriage was not to last. And uh, Elena, Elena um, uh, Carol sent Elena divorce papers in the late 1920s, asking her to, for a divorce. Because of Carol's affair with uh, Elena Lopescu, another Romanian Jew, the, he, was, he renounced his rights to the Romanian throne in favour of his son, Michael. He was killed for May 1927-1930. Thus, after, third, after the death of King Fernand of Romania, after 13 years as uh, King of Romania, Fernand died of cancer. And Michael, who was only six years old at the time, succeeded the throne. It was commenced with this period for Romanian history, a glorious one at that. Changing from a, a small, insignificant European power to a massive European power that within five years doubled its territory in size.